Pastor Buddy Blake spends most of his Saturdays preparing for Sundays. He loads his sermon with psalms, consults the commandments, and ponders a few prayers. On days like this, there's not much that can tear Buddy Blake away from his Bible. Nothing except an unexpected call. The type that comes more and more every day. St. John's Lutheran Church, Pastor Blake. Yes, on what date would you like to have the service? I'll give uh, Jerry Kelly a call and uh, go ahead and start the paperwork. Good morning, Chaplain. At 10.30, I'll have the team ready. It is a platoon of soldiers, most of whom haven't seen duty since they slogged through the jungles of Southeast Asia. And today, in full dress uniform, they have mustered for a final farewell to a fallen hero. Chaplain and retired Air Force Captain Buddy Blake will command the Southeast Texas Veterans Service Group. While the members of this unit change from day to day, their mission is always the same. Present pumps. Order pumps. Good afternoon. I'm Chaplain Blake, a member of the Southeast Texas Veterans Service Group. If my voice cracks today and my eyes begin to tear up, it is because there is a very special bond between those of us that wear this uniform and have served beneath that flag. Detail. Detail. With so many of today's soldiers deployed in the Middle East, there are fewer and fewer available for funeral detail. And that's why these veteran veterans are still signed up for service. At nearly a moment's notice, they'll rush to the funeral of any veteran in Southeast Texas. And after 20 years of taps, they've honored more than 3,000 men and women who wore the uniform. So it doesn't matter, you could, you could have been in any branch and you'll do full military. And we'll do full military honors if, if it's possible. That's our, that's our goal is to, to render full military honors to every veteran who served. Under the normal circumstances, these veterans would not be honored with military. They would only receive uh, maybe a bugler at, at best. So families need to know that this service is available and the man has earned it. He deserves it. On behalf of the President of the United States, the Department of Army, and a very grateful nation, we give you Bob's flag for his service and his honor to duty and country. Ready? Aim, fire. What are you saying to that, to that fallen soldier and to his family? We're saying to him, we, we will never, ever, ever forget. We will never forget. Every member of the veteran service group is a volunteer. It takes time, effort, and dedication, but it is a sense of duty, honor, and country that brings this group together. Put quite simply, it is a privilege. Every time that I put this uniform on, I'm proud to be able to do it. Some said to me early on in my ministry that I was devoting an awful lot of time to this ministry, to the, to the veterans, and uh, maybe, maybe I was spending too much time. And I told my church council that you don't want to make me choose because this is, this is as important to me. These funerals are just as important to me as my ministry at St. John's Lutheran Church in Port Arthur, Texas. 
When the U.S. military discharged Captains Blake and Kelly, they returned to civilian life, started families, began careers, but the flag still stirred within them, and they were still willing to answer the call. Officer in charge, render a fitting military tribute to a true American hero. Aim. Fire. This is, is a mission. That's the way I look at it. Our mission is to serve our fellow veterans. And we do that quite well. General MacArthur said, old soldiers never die. They just fade away. I don't want to fade away. I want to serve as long as I have breath. Present Hums. It is a patchwork as diverse as America itself, indivisible by age, race, gender, or branch of service. Some remember D-Day, others Da Nang, but they are all Americans, and that's enough to last a lifetime. It don't make a difference if it's a World War II or a World War II vet. He's my brother. And you can just about ask any veteran and they'll tell you the same thing. We're tight. That's our payback. To know that we were appreciated. And that's why I will never turn my back on a veteran, period. Honor, duty, and country. More than just words. Ideas that can make the meek stand tall and bring tears to the mightiest of men. Jerry Kelly and Buddy Blake are a little heavier, a little grayer than they were when they left basic training. On the outside, they are two middle-aged veterans, but inside, they are soldiers, a band of brothers, on a mission to serve those who served. I realize we're a little overweight, and, and, and you know, every step is not perfect, but their heart is there. Nothing is more important. You know what I see? I see through rose-colored glasses. I see young men still serving. I really do. <laughs>